Hello everyone, Jake here. I just put this TV up and that was the first step of setting this room up for uh, doing live shows and things. I put the ceiling mount TV in there and now I'm gonna mount all of these cameras. I have a computer here. Well, everything on this table back here is gonna end up on the ceiling. So I'm gonna mount the cameras from there. We're gonna go out to the wood shop. I'm gonna try to do this with no money. I might have to buy some screws or something like that. But as far as the materials I'm gonna use to, uh, to house everything is gonna be from things I find in the shop. So let's go do this. So the, the mounts that I have for the webcams are these. And I get these off of Amazon, they're real cheap. I needed a, I needed a few of them at one time. So therefore it was just the, the smart thing for me to do. And how they work is this clamps onto a table or two by four or whatever you can clamp it to. And then these things kind of, they just move around. You have a, a pretty good range of motion with them. And so, and they're only, I'm only using them to hold a webcam, which isn't very heavy. So if you have a heavy equipment, I probably wouldn't use these, but just a webcam, I'm not afraid of it. So, so here's what we're working with here. Here's how these things work. They clamp to a, a bench or whatever. They're gonna go like, like this right here. So like if that's a tabletop and then this goes into it and then you tighten that up and then you could adjust this around. So that's how that works. But what I'm thinking is that I can take these off. I can take this part off and drill a hole right here. And then, and we can use these threaded inserts and these, we have these knobs that you can get like in jig making uh, kits and stuff like that. Yeah, those, these thread right in there like that. And so, just so happens I've already altered one of these. So this is what it started life out as like that. And I just, all I did was cut that off with a little um, grinder and then sanded it so I didn't cut myself or anything. Drilled a hole right there so that this fits through there. And then as you can see right here, I've already put a couple of inserts in there. These inserts come with the uh, Allen wrench and all that and you just tighten them in there. How this is gonna work is I'll be able to put this on there like that. So just pretend that this is mounted to the ceiling like this is the ceiling and this is up there like that. I'll be able, I'll be able to mount this like this and then this can screw in there, tighten down. And then this can fit in there like that. And then I can have it like that in this direction or, or this direction. Once again, this is the ceiling and this is coming down from the ceiling. So now I think you get the gist of it. I'm gonna make a box out of plywood to put the computer in. And I'm gonna make the top of that long enough that I can screw it into joists on both sides. They're 16 inch uh, on center on the joist up top. So I'm gonna make it probably like 18 and that way I have room to, to screw in. All scrap wood on this. I think I'm gonna paint it. And if I don't, you'll know it by the end of the video. I think I'm gonna paint everything. And what's the beauty of these things is that I, could, I can get this thing whole thing built and then I can, I can add these later. All it is is drilling a hole and adding an insert. So that'll be pretty cool. So let me find some scrap materials and then we'll get started. The first thing I need to do is take measurements from each side of that television in between the light and the TV stand. Uh, that I'm gonna put something on each side of that. At this point, I don't have it figured out, but I'm gonna put something on each side to hang cameras from and to hide the cables. And on the other side of the light where I'm measuring right now, I've gotta figure out where the joists are and how big I need to make the box to put the computer in. I had this nice piece of three quarter inch maple plywood. That's, it's a pretty nice piece and as the prices are right now, it's kind of crazy to use it, but I had it and I didn't want to buy any new materials. So basically I'm just going to build a box to put the computer in and it just needs to be, the bottom part needs to be big enough to have the computer in and the top part needs to be big enough to go past so you can put screws into the joists. 
The joists are 16 inches on center, so all I did was make that top part 18 inches long. And then I came back an inch off of each side and marked where I wanted to put my holes for the lag screws to hold that thing to the top. And then after that, I went ahead and used pocket holes to go ahead and attach the sides to the bottom. And then I just drilled and countersunk and screwed the top onto that. And then after that, I had some walnut left over from the cutting board. So boom, walnut. I just put a couple coats of spray lacquer on this. Uh, I sanded in between with like 300 grit. Just lightly sand it and put another coat on and it's good to go. Uh, I already had the studs marked on the ceiling and I kind of had this where I wanted it. I had the holes drilled at 16 inches apart and the holes lined up with the lines and I used some three and a half inch lag screws and screwed it right up there. Next thing you know we have a computer mounted on the ceiling in a box trimmed in walnut. Now I need to mount all the cameras and cables and all that stuff on the ceiling also. I racked my brain over trying to find some clever way to do it but I ended up being a box, just like the other box. Uh, super simple. It's normally the case is the simplest thing is the, the right thing. So built a box, all the same steps until I get to drilling the holes and measuring how to mount it. So I just mark the center of this right here and then I drill holes along the center of it so that I know that I'm going to hit those studs whenever I put it on the ceiling. And there you go. Here's how the bolt fits. Pretty cool. I'm going to drill holes all around this box. These ones here are so that I can get a tool up there to tighten it. Uh, I'm going to put it on the side so that I can route cables through there and stuff like that. I go ahead and I, I clamp a board in there so to keep it from tearing out under there. And I just soften all the edges that I just cut with the cordless router uh, just so it's it's nicer looking and I'm gonna have cords going in through there I don't want it to be to be rough and then I put wood filler all over this thing there was a little bit of chips and stuff like that and I knew I wasn't gonna trim this and I kind of wanted it a little bit nicer so I kind of just coated the whole thing with filler and then sanded it and painted it in the meantime I did uh, drill all the holes for the, the inserts and you'll see those in a second so here's the inserts already installed. I really did take a lot of time thinking about how to do this. There's lots of ways to do it, lots of things after to buy, but I just wanted to do it with things in the shop. So let's install these things in the ceiling right now. Now that I have that on the ceiling, it's well secured. So I go ahead and put the other side on. And then I put the cameras up and I do the mount just like I showed you at the beginning of the video. Super simple. Works pretty good. Uh, put the cameras on there and then run the wires. And I do that for all the cameras. And then next thing you know, all we need to do is hook those wires up to the computer. Uh, I get this table out of the way. Now to tidy everything up, I use some anchors for the drywall. And it comes with the drill and everything you need uh, with the screws and all that and then you have cable clamps and now you have this cord mate thing over here it's a cord cover kit super easy to use and I'll show you here in a second I'll have links to all this kind of stuff below super easy you just drill a hole put your insert in there probably could use a little small hammer to tap it in there but just don't use your hand and then you put your clamp on there with the screw that goes to the insert and you're in there now this stuff has some sticky stuff where you can screw it down i decided to do i'm just going to put one wire in there so i think i'm going to try out the sticky stuff and you just uh, push it up there up next to the ceiling and then put your wire in there and you just push it back shut it, it clips and then you have these pieces that go on the corners or in between the pieces that just pop on there and looks all right I just used all this stuff in conjunction with each other to make it look as neat as I possibly could. This could be a temporary solution, so I just kind of made it to where it would be it would come apart easily. Uh, three bolts on each side and it comes apart. So uh, super cool. This thing ended up being pretty nice. 
The woodworking part of this project can be done with simple hand tools. Just because I have a wood shop and a table saw and some fancier tools doesn't mean that you can't do it. A set of cordless tools and you will be in there on this project. It's super easy now. Let's see if this thing works. This setup ended up working out great. I'm super happy with it. I'll be able to start doing lives now. And next thing to work on is the soundproofing the, to get the echo out of the room. So uh, if you like what you've seen today, go ahead and subscribe for future content. There's a lot of things going to be going on. And I appreciate you making it to the end of the video. And y'all be good. And we'll see you next time.